look a little different to you back here on the back porch? <laughs> well, it is a little different. We'll get into that in just a little bit. Well, good morning, Magandang Umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My P.I. Dream. It's almost afternoon. It's almost uh, Tanghali, uh, Magandang Tanghali, which is uh, like beautiful lunchtime. It's almost that time. I think Ness is inside the house preparing some stuff now as it is. Well, anyway, today's episode is about change. Big changes. <laughs> and uh, I, that's what I want to discuss with you. It's going to be a small episode about some of the changes that have gone on here in the backyard, on the back porch, and the big change that's going to go on right here. <laughs> so without further delay, let's get today's video underway. Let's go back on the back patio where the barbecue grill is and where we normally have our breakfast. Let's go on the back patio here and I just want to show you some of the things that we did here uh, th this morning. Now if you remember the, the table, the little picnic table that we had used to be over here, but the picnic table was kind of blocking. It was blocking area. We were too congested in this area right here and I was just bumping all the time into the table. We don't have a really big back patio. But it's enough, you have enough space, if you put stuff in the right place, you'll see that it's, it's quite, quite comfortable back here. So this morning, what we decided to do, we started thinking in our mind, what's the best way to make best use of this space right here? Uh, so what we did, we decided to move the table from here over to this corner right here. Remember, there used to be a mango tree, our biggest mango potted tree, which is this guy right here, and we moved him here. Uh, that, the pico mango that used to be over there, where the, uh, where the avocado tree now is, that used to be where the pico mango is right now, we just kind of swap positions of these two right here. Since this kind of branches out, and I want you to see this. I want you to see, I told you it was going to come back. Look at all the leaves that are coming back on this, on this avocado over here. It's going to be a beautiful and an, a very unusual and attractive, I think, shape of the avocado over here. Now I had to put it someplace that will get some, it gets some uh, sun. Normally avocado would like sun all day long. But I moved the umbrella, this umbrella here, used to be on this corner. Uh, so I, I just kind of moved it over to the side of here so that now that this area right here we would get some shade uh, and that's that's oh and that's got this great deal on some uh, this is the cucumber lemon cucumber juice cucumber lemon. oh yeah she got this on lazada right yeah from lazada. it's the same we were looking for the same kind of uh, cucumber lemon juice like you get when you go into like pepper lunch right when you yeah. pepper lunch they have i'm like oh i love their cucumber lemon and uh, exactly the same. She, or she ordered this on Lazada. So if you're <laughs> looking for a good, if you're looking for a good cucumber lemon exact type as Pepper Lunch or all the places in the mall, Lazada actually has it. Anyway, so we move things around, and I feel uh, a little more comfortable back here. We got the fan because it's really hot going into the lunchtime, and uh, so we put we have a fan back here so we can work. We can work on the mm -hmm. on the picnic table over here. That's the big change we have here on the backyard. Now the biggest change I got to show you is back here in the backyard. Now you know I often talk about the importance importance of pruning, uh, whether it be standard prune, pruning or just doing tip, doing tipping off of the edge. Now there's a difference between pruning and tipping. I think we've discussed it before, but mainly pruning is heavy duty. You get some pruning shears. I'm, I'm well, well. We'll grab my pruning shears back here by the Bahikubo. And our pruning shears, this old set of pruning shears that we have right here. Now this is more heavy duty. This is what you would use for cutting off larger limbs. Uh, say like if I wanted to cut off a limb off of this, say like this apple guava. Now if I wanted to cut off a big limb like this one right here, that's when I would use these. I would cut here. I, I want this limb right here. That's actually a pretty good limb. We're going to keep that one right here. But if you wanted to do something like on your mango, mango trees love to have some tipping done. Uh, just cutting off 
at the very end, like if you were to cut off like right here. Oh, I got a bug over here. Let me get this bug. Ooh, got rid of that one. Ooh, get rid of that guy. Anyway, if you wanted to cut off maybe the tip, you would cut off something just like this. And what it does, it does what's called flushing. It will flush out. You'll see, if you see on this tree, all of the darker color. You see all of the, the brownish color, reddish brown color of the of the leaves on there. Here, here's a good example right here. If you see this one, this is a result of me doing tipping. You see right here, where I did the tipping here? Let me see right there. So anyway, mangoes love to have that done at the beginning of the growing season, probably uh, right at the beginning or the middle of the summer months. You cut those off and when they start doing, they'll flush out and you'll start getting more fruit. Now this is a uh, only the second year, the second year of this one. And if we do get fruits on it, we're gonna cut, we'll cut the fruits off of here. We don't want it to fruit yet. Speaking of fruiting early, let's take a look at some of the other citruses that we have and some of the major work I did over the last few days. Well, let's go back to our apple guava. This is our apple guava right here. You remember, this used to have some pretty big branches all over the place. And it had some branches down here on the bottom. We had a branch down here. And what I did, I pruned that off. You take all of the, all of the suckers that come off the main, the main rootstock. And sometimes what you'll have, you'll have suckers that'll come out. Sometimes you'll have suckers that will come out of the ground and it'll just be really clustery. And most people think, oh wow, my plant is doing really well. Well, what's happening, all these that will be coming off the very bottom, bottom and even maybe coming out of the soil off of your main rootstock, what they're doing, they're taking all the energy away from the natural growth and the good growth of your main plant. So what you want to do is you want to cut all that stuff off the bottom. What you want to do is make sure that you have the main plant or anything above a graft. If you have a grafted, say like a dwarfed grafted variety, you want to cut all the stuff off the bottom so it doesn't take the energy away from the top. Anyway, the purpose of having a grafted is you know that you'll have something like a dwarf variety and you'll have something that is fruited, that is known to fruit before and you'll get more fruit. Now, you see here, this apple guava has lots of little blossoms here that are going to make more apple guava. I count one, two, three, four. Let's see, I saw them all over the place the other day. I know there's like, I counted seven on here. Oh, there's some down there. Uh, so what I will be doing, I will be taking some fine scissors and what I will be doing, or little tiny prune, pruning uh, scissors, and I will be cutting all of these off. I don't want any more, not this year. I don't want any more apple guava on here because I want the tree to develop. I want this to become a tree, not to become a bush. Uh, because all the energy will happen, they will come here. Every bit of the energy will be defined here and take away from the nice growth and the tall bush and openness canopy of your main plant. So we'll be cutting those off later on. But you see, a lot, of, a lot has been done here. You wanna really see a lot. Look at this plant right here. This used to have, oh my goodness, we used to have stems coming off of here, here, down here along the bottom, multiple ones, as well as, remember our lemon trees back here, the two lemon trees. <laughs> I want you to see all that we pulled off of this one. This branch here, this branch. This was so full, and we had lemons. I cut those lemons off. They're sitting on the back porch right now. They're not fully developed, but all the energy was going to that. Now, since I did that, you see all the new growth that we're getting up here. We want to make this a tree, not a bush. If you allow all the suckers, all the leaves, and you can see it's starting another one right here. You see? We want, we'll cut that off. We'll, we could pinch that one off. That's what we'll do. But what will happen, and you can see this is one I cut off yesterday or the day before. Uh, what will happen is all the energy will be going to a lot of the lower branch or, or a good amount of the energy and won't allow your tree to develop. It will be a bush, not a tree. Same thing with this one. I want you to see this hat. Look at all of them that I cut off. One, two, three, four, five. We'll cut, cut these little ones off and they will come back very soon. So you want to keep those cut off. And what will happen is this will develop round. And you can see even in here, this is starting to develop lemons right there. We'll probably cut, we'll pull those off as well. We want to spend the first two to three years, like I said earlier, developing the shape and the health of the main trunk 
make a nice bushy tree so it will be a tree so i did this to all of them not only the apple guava uh look remember these remember the sun kissed remember how big the sun kissed was over here the sun kissed was way up to here we had multiple big branches tying off of here we had to sacrifice i know it seems counterintuitive to do all of this but in the long run over the years this is the best way to get a good tree a good shape tree and most of the time it helps with the production of getting more fruit uh, so we sacrifice as a matter of fact this was holding this branch here was holding up one of these limbs down here it had three we had another three sun-kissed oranges on here i got rid of those we want this to develop you remember this tree here i don't remember what this one is i don't know if it's a lime i can't even remember what this tree is we'll see later on when it starts producing fruit but you see we took off a big shoot off the bottom it wide i tried to follow the main and hopefully this is the grafted one right here and we'll we shape this this will be a tree same for that one like i said the sun kissed same for this one right here. We cut off all the root stock down here. Now this is forming. The only one I am not doing this to right now is our calamansi because it is already sort of a tree with a very nice well-defined uh, trunk here. The main stem coming up and we might later on start cutting this lower section and focus on this main trunk right here, which is this one right here. So this develops into a tall tall tree uh maybe about two to three meters high uh and what we'll do is we'll form this into a tree as well so you can see i've done it all there are all right i believe this is a pomelo pomelo tree did the same thing here and you remember this is a calamansi that used to be on the back porch we took it off the back porch i want you to see all the blossoms all the blossoms on this guy right here but we now only have one main trunk, although it's kind of an ugly, well, I shouldn't say ugly. I don't want to offend it. I don't want it to get hurt. No, you're a beautiful calamansi. <laughs> but it's a little bit different from the other trees that we have around here. Now, I had to do very little trimming of the two centaurides that I got from Emily, Dave and Emily. Uh, very little, just some minor trimming right here. We'll leave this. This is the main trunk right here. It came. She brought me over some really good form trees. This one was really, I took a lot off of this guy right here. This, I believe, also is another lime tree back here. I believe it is. I'm really bad. Uh, I move a tree and I forget to put the little white marker down to identify where it is. But it doesn't matter. I think it'll be kind of cool. Uh, so anyway, that one had a lot done. But do you see? We now have another garden. We have the island. The island. And now we have kind of an island, but this island is going to be uh, flowers, shrubs, and some vegetables inside here too. So we have more space now to plant. We just need availability to go to some of the landscape nurseries and be able to buy some. Uh, right now we can't get to the main areas where we like to go to because of the quarantine. Now one more little update. You remember the, the, the Moses in the cradle that we pulled from back here? I want you to see, you were with us on the episode that we did like two weeks ago. Uh, they're doing great. All of them that we transplanted from that area is doing great. as well as what we pulled just a week ago when we did this island, uh, the one that's going around the little island that we have the strawberry patch on. Now at the island over there, the strawberries are still having a hard time coming in. I, I, I haven't pulled any more of the Moses in the cradle for that one as well, but we will be adding some of that here. Uh, but a lot of the strawberries coming back, uh, I believe most of it will come back. And I have some planters all over the yard that has strawberries. We might move those from the planters and put something else in the potted planters and move the strawberries back here. Uh, also, everything in the garden. I'm gonna show you a quick update on the garden. First, I'm gonna start on the canopy up here. You remember the last time we did an update of the raised bed garden and we have the canopy that goes, that we're trellising over the grapevines. Last time I showed you, we were somewhere right around the center pole 
And now in just a short, short, short few days, you see, we're almost to the other side of it here. I have two main vine sections that are going up and they're starting to provide some nice shade back here. Uh, the green beans on this side have kind of fizzled out those, uh, those long pole green beans over the sita, but they have many planted over here. And I want you to see how well they're doing here in the back. So you see, they're growing great. And we're going to soon start running it through the trellis here as well. Also, the cucumbers. I want you to see the cucumbers. The cucumbers are doing just wonderful back here. And I didn't even have to go back here and manually run these through. It did it by itself. You see these little stringers right here. They're starting to grab everywhere back here by themselves. And everything is doing good. The melon is doing great back here. These are all the watermelon, uh, the watermelon, uh, the the cantaloupe melon uh, that they call it over here, that's doing great. Uh, almost everything. Uh, now, yesterday was a shopping day, and while we were down uh, doing a little bit of shopping, I picked up some seeds. So today, one of the things that I want to do, since it's a really relaxing Sunday afternoon, one of the things that I want to do is I want to grab some of the seeds. I got some tomato seeds, because the tomato seeds that I brought in from the U.S., they were beef steaks. Tomato seeds, none of them, none of them germinated. I don't know if they were just stale seeds or what, but I wasn't real happy with that. So I picked up some tomatoes and I picked up one or two other vegetables and that's what I will be germinating. I got some good potting soil and I will start that today. So that's one of the main projects for today. Also, there's gonna be some upcoming videos. I think tomorrow, tomorrow, you guys, I got some really good responses from the people interested in the lot. Uh, right down the street from us here. Remember that was block 13, lot 18. A lot of people were interested in that. So what I did, I pushed that information over to the realtor, the local realtor here, and he should be in contact with those of you who are interested in that lot as well. Also, let's see, what else uh, before I close for today? Oh, yeah, hey, Ness, come, come on down. <laughs> I just saw you over my shoulder there. Anyway, uh, we have a birthday shout. We have a birthday shout out today. Uh, what a way to close a video out today with a birthday <laughs> shout out. Anyway, well, the birthday shout out goes to Christy Kananen and her mom, Mary Lou Kananen, uh, from here. Uh, wanted to make sure we get a good birthday shout out for Christy. Uh, Christy's from Pasadena. Pasadena. Pasadena, Pasadena, California. Pasadena, and she's turning 28 today. Today, as a matter of fact. Well, anyway, uh, the story her mom gave us is Christy. Uh, she makes, uh, she's a very good cook, she said, uh, and she said she makes something called vegan ice cream. Vegan ice cream. I, I don't know. I, we haven't. I we never, haven't I never heard of it. a, I never heard of anything but vegan ice cream because uh, normally we think non-vegan is like meat, meat inside and they don't eh. put, uh, there's no meat in ice cream. Is it? Eh. No. I, do, I don't know, <laughs> but uh, I, I'm I'm all all for tasting it. She said she's when she comes over to the country, when she comes back over to the Philippines, maybe she'll make Promise. us maybe she'll make us some <laughs> vegan ice cream. So I'm kind of curious yeah. how that tastes, because uh, you know me, I'm a really big ice cream fan. Well, anyway, to you, Chrissy, we want to wish you a happy birthday. Happy birthday. Now, before we close for today, let's just do a real quick checkup on our bananas. Uh, I keep saying not not too much longer, but I'm gonna say not too much longer. <laughs> uh, they're, they're doing absolutely great. This is the Lakatan, and remember now we have two bunches of Lantundan back here. And Lantundan, we have one. It's starting to fill in really nice. That's the original one. Remember we got the support. The Lakatan supports the Lantundan. Uh, isn't that kind of nice? They kind of have like a little marriage going on back here. And uh, here's the small one that just started. Uh, the heart pulled the heart off and it's forming. And I want to see uh, this. Remember the seedling? Uh, this is the little sucker seedling off of this one that's growing the Lakatan. This one right here and this one. And they are doing great, as is this one over here. And back over on, on John's lot, I have for him, <laughs> I have a Sabah and I have from the Lantundan, I have two of those back here and they seem to be doing uh, good as well. With all the rain that we've been getting, here I take a look at those. So you got the small one over here and then you have the other one over there. So those are doing good. I planted them a few little things back there. Uh, a couple of, of the papayas as well. Now our papaya, I set up is gonna close over there but I'm, I keep seeing things. We just have so many things going on in this backyard. Uh, I actually have, look at the papaya back here. And this is the red lady papaya. 
These are doing good. I like the little step from high down. It's like a family. It's like this is the dad, this is the mom, and this is the brother, and the brother has like four little sisters over here and this right over here this uh, maybe this is the family the family dog papaya over here I don't know I got a little this is a uh, palm off of one of the palms I just pulled a little sprig and that's kind of how you do things around here look at the uh, the pawpaw the pawpaw is just it just loves all the light back here and it loves this little family of plants everything's doing great Let's go ahead and close for today. Uh, you saw, hey buddy, <laughs> you saw that uh, we had a problem with the uh, the closing. I had a really great, great closing sequence uh, for you on uh, the previous cut. But then when I went to go do my editing, uh, there was no, obviously you saw, there was no audio on that. So uh, we're gonna do this all over again. I don't remember what I talked about, but I remember it was really cool. Uh, well anyway, uh, today, today what did we talk about? Today we talked about uh, we talked about changes, needed changes sometimes. Sometimes you have to make sacrifices. Uh, but changes that actually are for the better, like the back porch. The back porch organizing so the energy flows better. Uh, you can do things better, you feel better. Changes for doing uh, your garden. Today we talked about pruning. Uh, the necessity for doing certain types of pruning uh, to achieve certain objectives like producing more fruit, producing a better shaped tree. Uh, even if it means inside that, oh, I feel like I'm doing the wrong thing, but you're really doing the right thing now for future, the, the future of that plant. Uh, and what, was the, what was the third thing? What was the third thing we were talking about uh, that needed change? Oh, uh, this right here. <laughs> so I, I think it's time. I think uh, this has run its course and uh, I've gotten too many uh, Santa uh, comments, too many uh, Santa jokes on the, on the channel here. Uh, so we'll probably take care of this today. And who knows, tomorrow's episode, either I'll have this or I won't, you'll see. Anyway, well, I wanna thank everybody for sending all these great comments, uh, the emails that have come in for questions that have to do with house building or different products that we use when we build the house here. Uh, and everything Je and just for some of the stories you all share with me there are really some very very nice stories that you the subscriber out there have been sending in to me and sharing with me and I thank you very much for considering me uh, like part of your little mm, social media family to be able to do that as well uh, again tomorrow is going to be the episode for doing uh, looking at two of the houses that are built here that are being offered for sale already built houses that were originally model homes uh, hopefully i get to that tomorrow so let me go ahead and close this has been long enough That's for today uh, if you enjoyed today's video please give us a pause up <laughs> please share and if you have not subscribed just click on that little my pi dream heart in the bottom right hand side of your screen you'll be subscribed and notified the next time we upload a new video so until such time you have a wonderful and blessed day today's episode and you would like to see more just like these just click on one of the helpful links over to your right and you might be able to pick up on some good information on DIY projects how to or if you are interested in moving to the Philippines and building you'll find answers there as well